Good morning everyone. 5.45am. I think we're going to photo photograph a lovely Norfolk windmill. But before I do so, nice cup of coffee. Lovely old job. Hi guys, just arrived at um, Thurn, the, the village of Thurn. Basically this is where we stop. There's a little car park here. Um, at the end of a pub. Now there's a pub over the road. I can't remember what the pub's name is, but well, I'll Google it later and put it down in the link below. Um, but opposite the pub, you come down this road, past these cars, and then you've got the stave on your left. And then you'll see this little car park at the end. It's only a very small car park, probably fit about six to eight cars. And we are here now. We well half six so we've got an hour before sunrise uh, as for fog or mist which is what i was hoping for this morning being quite cold this morning compared to the last few mornings i was hoping for some mist here but i don't know i, don't, I can't see any mist as such at the moment but we'll see um anyway it's a short walk from the car park anyway. so short walk from the from the pump just along the dike and along the stave to the end of the stave you've got two uh, wind pumps to choose from however one wind pump which is the Thurn wind pump which is a lovely iconic white wind pump is at the moment has um, a lot of work being done to it so it is absolutely covered uh, foot to top with scaffolding so that's not going to look very nice at all um, but saying that from where we are we're not going to be photographing that that particular water pump uh, this morning anyway so if you're in Thurn you'll be shooting across the water to uh, a wind pump that's called St Bennett's wind pump so we'll be running our, the composition will be um, hopefully some reeds in the foreground. I haven't been here for a while, so I would say I haven't been here for a year, actually. So uh, what I, what we get is what we get, so we just have to make the most of what we've got here. Um, but I can show you some pictures of what I've had before, uh, in 2010 and onwards, when we had a really, really cold, cold winter. And that was uh, in December as well, so uh, all the snow and that. I don't know whether everyone remembers that, but I was the only one here. Um, I'm, I'm shocked at that, that, that I was the only photographer here. Um, but I, get, I got the images. I suppose it's too bad, but... Ian. What? What are you doing? What? What are you trying to achieve there? Uh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> you video. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Take one. Ian, what are you trying to achieve there? I'm trying to achieve... Um... Well, look, can we, can we start with what are the problems? What are the problems? Composition is the, the key element for any photo. And for this particular scenario here in Thurn, I haven't been here for over a year, and we've got construction going on with the Thurn mill behind us. And that looks dreadful for any landscape photographer wanting to take images of that. <clears throat> so that's just not gonna happen. So if we go back, Ooh. Go back. There's my <laughs> there's my camera. What I want is a picture showing the full length of the river 
because um, I see some mist on the river there and it's rolling along the river but you can't physically get that mist because it's too far away and the reeds are too high so it's a very difficult one to compose Go. So I'm on manual, as I always am, manual focusing and using the manual focusing assist is always very helpful. It's okay, I could do with being a little bit higher, <coughs> if I'm honest, because I'm just, I'm just getting those houses and the, the the reflection in the water and then I've got instantly I've got no real separation between that and the top of the reeds. The foreground reeds are good but there's just too much of it. Um, so yeah. What do you need separation for in? Um, so I want the separation between the two, between the top of the reeds and, and the buildings there. And also want to see the river in between that. And also want to see the reflections as well. And it's, it's just too tight between all of it for me. Um, I mean, I've had some very nice shots from this place. And Blooming chilly, Richard. So, um, come to the end of the morning. It's now quarter to eight. Sun has risen and the colour is starting to fade now. So, uh, it's the best more, it's best in the morning uh, for, for the colours, the light, the exposure, everything really. Um, and it's very, very peaceful and you don't get too many people around, which is lovely. However, I've said that now. And the scaffold has turned up. And the scaffold has turned up. <laughs> Mind you, it is 20 to eight or a quarter to eight. So, you know, most people start work at that time. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, tune in for my next video, which will be this weekend when we go away to Dorset. Uh, lovely county of Dorset and um, I'm gonna um, shoot Corfe Castle first thing in the morning hope and pray pray for some mist and fog for that lovely look I'm also gonna shoot off to uh, old Harry's Rock and get the drone up from old Harry's Rock anyway babbling on thank you very much for watching tune in for the next one it's a lovely old job. <laughs>